student at the Nova Southeastern University. I will be doing a brief documentary on Jamaica's e-learning high school project. E-learning is a shortened form of electronic learning, which is a form of online learning. With e-learning, the learning materials are conveyed through electronic media, such as the computer. Instructional materials are usually web-based, and learners can access them through networks. E-learning offers teachers and students the opportunity to target specific learning outcomes or concepts and the teachers have the added opportunity to monitor the progress of the learners and possibly design corrective measures. In 2005, the government of Jamaica approved 50 million US dollars to undertake the first phase of Jamaica's e-learning project. This project is spearheaded by the Ministry of Education and Youth and the Ministry of Industry, Technology, Energy and Commerce. These two ministries have embarked on a mission to ensure that Jamaican learners are adequately exposed and prepared effectively to meet the challenging demands of competing in the 21st century. The company was established to enhance the learning experience in Jamaica's high schools as well as to improve the level of passes at the school leaving examination. We have classes that are fairly crowded and as such it's, it's, a, it's a huge job for the teacher to maintain control and keep everybody interested. To address a number of these challenges, the project seeks to implement technologies that will excite the students, make the learning a lot more interesting. We have um, utilized Dell laptops, Dell high-speed printers. We have Dell Power Edge servers with quad-core technology. We have Power Connect switches from Dell to provide the networking infrastructure. What technological infrastructure have been implemented in these high schools to foster e-learning? What happened exactly is that through the e-learning project, we have seen a lot of improvement when it comes to education system. Most of the schools before 2009, they used to have small labs, but inside the small labs, there were slow machines. But through the e-learning project, they have provided each and every high school in Jamaica with up-to-date machines, at least one lab, with a number of 35 to 50 machines in a lab. Laptops has been implemented in most of the high schools. Most of the high schools go, go, uh, 20, between 20 and 40 laptops to be used in classrooms. Also, we can see that they were given document readers, multimedia projectors, the UPS, as you can see on this side, the printers, rooms with AC. So what happened is that the environment for the students is so conducive for their learning because of the materials that are provided. The tables, the chairs, as you can say, the e-learning gave high school full package in terms of technology. Internet speed, most of the schools through the project have been given high speed internet to flow online. So we can say that for those students who are slow learners in schools, they can learn or teach themselves through the videos that the Elan provided to high schools. You're actually one of the persons who was trained for this e-learning project. Can you give us some general information regarding the training of the teachers and system administrators? Thank you. Most, if not all high schools, what teachers were trained to be part of the project. Teachers were shown how to use the equipment through the e-learning project. What happened exactly is that each school had to send two people from their school to be trained to come and train the rest of the teachers in the schools. And I was glad to be one of the trainees who was trained to come and train 
teachers of this college. Teachers were trained on how to use most of the equipment, document reader, how to use multimedia projector, how to use the CDs to pass the input to the students. Most of the teachers again will teach on how to use the softwares, basic softwares like Microsoft Word, Audacity, and Microsoft Excel. And this has helped a lot because teachers have a knowledge of what they are trying to deliver in class. Because they were taught how to troubleshoot again in case they have any problem with the machines in the lab. They can still help troubleshooting the machine in the lab. And at the end of the day, it saves the schools where they come from a lot of money because things can be done within the location. Instructional materials were developed to promote the use of technology in the school system. The materials are available in multi multiple formats such as text, CD-ROM, DVD, as well as web format. Materials were also developed that target 11 CSEC subject areas. These include mathematics, English language, Welcome to e-learning lecture series for CSEC English Language, Biology, and Information Technology. Find information theft. List safeguarding measures. Explore protection laws. There is also a reservoir or item bank that contains vast number of questions and solutions. The targeted number of items is 25,000. Items include multiple choice, open-ended questions, and essays. The solutions are provided to assist the learners with fast-paced fast preparation outside of the classroom. The solutions assist them in correcting their work and knowing what areas they need to spend more time focusing. The solutions also facilitate continuous self-assessment, thereby making the learners aware of their strengths and weaknesses. Assessment is a major phase in all instructional process. It is used to determine whether the instructional goals and objectives were satisfactorily achieved and to provide information to the instructional designer as to what aspects of the program or instruction worked well and which aspects need to be revised. Learners from grades 7 to 11 are required to take an assessment to determine any improvement in their level of performance during the academic year. A specific group of individuals is responsible for developing and directing the standardized examination for mathematics, English language, science, and social studies throughout the high schools across the island. The grade 9 diagnostic tests are pre-CSEC tests and they are composed of an internal assessment task and a multiple choice test paper. The e-learning project has been a success in providing access to technological tools to schools, but a lot is left to be done in bringing Jamaica to its fullest potential in regards to educational integration. Our schools have not yet reached the point where technology is part and parcel of the entire school curriculum. Jamaica is yet to see the day when technology is fully integrated into all classrooms in the system. The e-learning company of Jamaica is currently accepting bids for the implementation of over 30,000 tablets in the pre-primary to primary level of the education system. The goals of the project include identifying and integrating appropriate technology solutions to counter the issues of literacy and numeracy amongst learners at this level. It will also assist with diagnostic and assessment of these learners, 
thereby identifying learners learning issues so that appropriate corrective measures can be implemented at an early age.